been doing a lot of running and uh, sprint work. I'm trying to build up my hamstrings. So I am doing these good morning variations to build up the top half of my hamstrings. My hamstrings, my feet, and my calves were lacking, and my flexors, my glutes, extensors, quads, were way stronger than all the rest of the muscles. And so I looked good, my muscles looked good, and my athletic ability was lacking. So now that I am conscious of all this, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the greatest success story in baseball history, maybe even sports history. I got to shout out ATG, um, knees over toes guy. He's helped me a lot. I got to, I have, um, I have God to thank. I have Jesus to thank. I have the universe to thank. I especially have myself to thank because I, I don't know how I became conscious of all this. I just, I'm obsessed with improvement. So, You see my big toes are driving. I have arches again. I'm getting the tops of the hamstrings firing. One, two, three. At the top. Without sitting down, I'm going, going all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Three, five. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do three, so I don't blow out my ass. One, two. Okay, boom, back at it. Ugh. One thing, now that I'm back at the, the facility is, and I have some more things to my use, I've been using bands i've been using bands olympic rings and just like little things that i can get very creative with but now that i got some other things to implement into my workout i'm gonna implement chest but i am using this ball here, I'll show you on this side i'm using this ball to create an angle for incline bench but i'm not the purpose of this is to not i'm not thinking about my chest here I'm thinking about contracting the shoulder blades. I'm trying to squeeze my scaps together. So let's see. I go boom. I'm using 25, something light. But I go up. My socks are sliding. I go up. I'm gonna go down. Everything is eccentric. It's just being able to control the weight. I think, in my opinion, eccentrics are the most important because it's all about control. So as I go down, I'm pulling down. I'm resisting and pulling down. I'm squeezing. Now I'm using my elbows to squeeze the ball. Boom, fire up. Resisting down till I get, I get to a point, I get to about the halfway point and now I'm pulling my elbows. Pulling my elbows into the ball. Boom. And this is because in baseball, damn near everybody's uh, sh uh, shoulder, their rotator cuff is torn even slightly. Like you're lying if, if it's not. Um, so this is just, at, is just building and repairing all those little tiny muscle fibers around the parts that are being torn and ripped up during the season. So let's see. what I'm doing, I get closer as I push up and then as I'm down, 
I'm pulling these elbows together. Pulling, that way I'm building up all those little tiny muscles because everybody's labrum, labrum. I think it's labrum right here. Everybody's got a little bit of a torn one. We've been playing baseball since we were five years old, throwing every single day. I played quarterback for a long time. So I've been in two throwing sports my entire life. And it's very, 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 very important that we know how to work around injuries and realize what the problem is, how to solve the problem, why there's a problem, and then fix that problem by being a fucking obsessed with improvement. I'm fired up right now because I'm just thankful, super thankful to be here. Let's see, we'll go boom. Oh, it's kind of hard to notice. Pulling with the elbows. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Oh. Okay, so last one is the Nordic, and that is all hamstrings. You squeeze the glutes, activate the glutes, and then strictly the hamstrings will be firing the entire length of it. So what you want to do is you get on top. You can do this with anybody. You can hold their ankles down, but you want to squeeze the glutes and then eccentric on the way down. That way, eccentric on the way down. That way you're activating all those quick twitch muscle fibers. So this is the reason why I am not the fastest person in the entire world. Um, guys like Tyreek Hill, if anybody knows who that Kansas City Chiefs, he can do eight of these. He can do, he runs like a 4-2. He runs like a 4-2. So, and, and it may take me years, it may take me months, I'm not sure. But I've been conscious of this for a little bit while now. And watch, watch how not good I am at this. And I'm trying my absolute hardest. So, push the hips forward, activate the glutes. What's this on the way down? He can go all the way down. And the best, the best can go hands behind the back and go all the way up. I'm not even freaking close. It's gonna take years, years of this and years of recovery, maybe months. I'm not capping my limit or capping my growth on this because I've been doing it two, three times a day. Every day I have a hot tub now. I know I am a master at recovery. Um, let me do one more for you. So, because I'm not good at it, I'll, I'll eccentric as far as I can, and then push up and pop. But I'm trying to keep the glutes tight and the hamstrings activated the whole time. So, eccentric. Oh, one more. Mm. Whew. That's a little wit fit for you, whatever it takes. Fitness and athletics. Next, um, next part of the quarterback drills that I used to do were, were basically just like a little bit uh, wider than shoulder width apart with a wide stance, keeping feet in the ground and I'm just rotating. You can just imagine if I had a football, I've been doing these throwing drills forever but you, you imagine that you're holding that chest, you turn and it's just high and tight. Boom. And I'm just going shoulder to shoulder. Boom. Staying out over the toes, but balance. So what I'm gonna do is just implement baseball into it. So set the ball out, I'm gonna pick the ball up. Boom. It's early in the season, so I'm trying not to light it up, but I feel good. Let the ball just 
rotate off the fingers. There, I didn't get my, I didn't get my shoulder all the way square. It was kind of, it was off, off maybe 22, 22 and a half degrees, and I missed right. So I was open, spun the ball out. I need to get back on line. quarterback drill feet planted this is just making sure to have a tight arm getting up and over so I'm just gonna hold here and just go oh. feet planted oh. always working in the phone booth When you really have to reach, get over the top and reach to get any mustard on it. Late pronation. There it is. Now reverse, you're really gonna have to get over that that front side, your front side is your back side here. So we're just working to get our shoulders around as much as possible, Patrick Mahomes. I got the short bat, I'm here lefty. Just gonna do a little rhythm, lower half rhythm, upper half timing. So it's gonna be step together, step, boom. Driving middle away, going for back left corner. Maybe I should make this my angle. Yeah, probably, makes sense. Not bad. Hold that one hardcore. Sometimes my my right hand takes over because I'm I'm not new to switch hitting, but I'm new to committing to. I was eight for 10. So performance righty was a little better. I'm gonna to go to the normal bat. We'll do the same drill just because I think it's beneficial. So it's set up front of the plate, just on front of the plate, 
It's like a four zone fastball, three and a half, four zone fastball. Right over the shortstop's head. One for one. Change up the angles. This is a little advanced, but I can go between the legs, around the back. No look like Ozzy Smith. Boom. Look at that, no look. Look at that, no look. Ooh, look at this. I'll give you guys a little. Between the legs. What I'm curious about is that back in football, these were my quarterback drills, and I was reaching in the cookie jar, and I would always finish on the inside of my leg, but it feels more natural to come on the outside of the leg. I'm not sure um, how it is, how it applies for baseball, but I like to do these just to align my body and get my arm working the, the correct way. Oh. Yeah, it feels easier going outside than me. Seven for us. So it's going to be a boom. That's too much effort. Too much effort. Lower half is rhythm, upper half is timing. There it is. Perfect amount of effort. Hit the top of the tee, my target. Lower half rhythm, 